Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing time to hear this emergency application for a debate on a specific and important matter, namely that this House has considered the matter of the Cabinet's decision to accelerate preparations for a no-deal outcome to Brexit following the Prime Minister's failure to allow this House promptly to express its view on the Government's deal in light of the significant public expenditure involved. Minister Speaker, yesterday the Government announced an additional £2 billion of spending to prepare for leaving the European Union without a withdrawal agreement. They have done so after denying the House the opportunity to express its view on the Government's deal and its view on leaving the European Union without a deal by deferring the meaningful vote originally scheduled for Tuesday the 11th of December. If that vote had been held, I have no doubt the Government's deal would have been roundly rejected, as would any proposal that we leave with no deal. Mr Speaker, no Government has the right to risk the well-being of the United Kingdom because of its own failed negotiations. And it is vital that the Government is held to account for its spending of public money, especially when the sums involved are so large and the stakes are so high. I therefore ask for this emergency debate to be held. Thank you. The Right Honourable Gentleman asks leave to propose a debate on a specific and important matter that should have urgent consideration under the terms of Standing Order No. 24, namely, I do think the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman quoted this, but it is right for me to quote it, namely, the matter of the Cabinet's decision to accelerate preparations for a no-deal outcome to Brexit following the Prime Minister's failure to allow this House promptly to express its view on the Government's deal in the light of the significant public (coughs) expenditure involved. I have listened carefully to the application from the Right Honourable Member. I am satisfied that the matter raised is proper to be discussed understanding Order No. 24. Has the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman the leave of the House? No! 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 Uh, the, The objection has been raised by the Honourable Gentleman, the Member for Wellingborough, which is in conformity with our procedures. In those circumstances, if there is an objection, it is necessary for at least 40 members to rise in their places in the House in order to facilitate such a debate. It is, I think, clear that somewhat in excess of 40 members are standing in the House. I I thank the Honourable Gentleman, who has faithfully complied with our procedures, uh, but the fact is that the House, under our rules, has decided that the debate is sought. And I thank members for doing so. The debate will take place immediately, and it would ordinarily do so for up to three hours. But of course, as the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman will know, the debate has to conclude by the moment of interruption. So it will be a little less than three hours, but it is right that the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman should now open the debate.